Chapter 2 So Many Kinds of Animals Where will you find us? An eagle flies high in the sky. A cow walks on the ground. Fish swim in water. We are of different colors. The egret is white. The crow is black. The buffalo too is black. But the peacock has many different colors. And I must tell you, peacock is so beautiful. We may be big, we may be small. The horse and the bullock are large in size. The goat and the dog are of medium size. The mouse and the squirrel are small. The earthworm and the cockroach are smaller still. Gnats and ants are very tiny indeed. Can you tell? Which animals run very fast? Deer and leopard run very fast. Which animals move very slow? Snail and tortoise move very slow. We move in different ways. A squirrel is a small animal. It is nimble. It climbs up a tree quickly and swiftly run along its branches. The elephant's body is bulky. Its legs are heavy. The elephant cannot run at great speed. The deer has thin legs. It runs very fast. A frog's hen legs are long. So it can easily hop, jump and leap. You find us useful. People love to keep animals. The dog guards our house. Well, they are very friendly too. People like to keep cats too. Cows, buffaloes and goats give us milk. Some people keep hens. We get meat, milk and eggs from animals. Bullocks help with farm work. Hitched to a cart, they can draw heavy burdens too. Horses and donkeys too are used to carry burdens. We look after the animals we keep. We feed them. We take care of them when they are ill and that is very important. The animals we keep become very dear to us. We, the gate crashers. Some animals enter our houses even though we don't want them. Mice and rats destroy stored grains besides gnawing other things in the house. Sometimes we find bed bugs in our house. They suck our blood. Spiders make cobwebs in the house. Mosquitoes, lice, gnats and cockroaches are a nuisance too. Even so, these troublesome animals do have an important place in nature. We have seen that animals around us can be grouped in different ways. We form these groups using our everyday observations. However, when scientists classify animals, they look at more important characteristics of animals. Let us see how they do it. We suckle our young. The young ones of animals like the cow, dog, goat, and rat grow up on their mother's milk. 
These animals have four legs. They have hair on their body. They have external ears. We fly. Birds have two legs. They have two wings to fly with. Their body is covered with feathers. There are differences in the flying ability of different birds. Kids, if you must have noticed, the eagle can soar high into the sky and stay in the air for a long time. But the cock does not fly high and comes down soon too. We live in water. There are many different kinds of fish. They live in the water. Fish have fins. They use their fins to move in water. There are scales on a fish's body. Do you know? A fish has scales behind its eyes. Fish use their gills to breathe in water. We creep and crawl. Chameleons, house lizards and snakes are animals that crawl. They have scales on their bodies. Chameleons and house lizards have four legs, but these legs are very short. The snake does not have any legs at all. We are called insects. Butterflies have wings too. But we don't call them birds, right? They are insects. They are smaller than birds. Besides, they have six legs. Animals which have six legs are called insects. So butterflies are insects. Mosquitoes, houseflies and cockroaches are insects too.